what a 100 megapixel sensor could mean for the future of Micro Four Thirds. The Micro Four Thirds system has long been defined by its balance of portability, performance and affordability. While it has never been about pushing the megapixel envelope, the recent revelation of the 100 megapixel 4 3rd sensor from DJI signals a potentially radical shift in what the format is capable of. If such a sensor was adapted for stills and hybrid cameras, it could significantly redefine the trajectory and perception of the Micro Four Third system. Until now, the highest native resolution available in Micro Four Thirds cameras has hovered around 25 megapixels, with higher resolution outputs only possible through sensitive technologies like high-res shot modes. A native 100 megapixel sensor would demolish that ceiling offering four times the detail without relying on compositing or ideal shooting conditions. This could open new creative and professional possibilities in fields like landscape photography, archival work, scientific imaging, and particularly wildlife photography, where Micro Four Thirds crop factor and lightweight telephoto lenses already provide a strong advantage. With 100 megapixels on tap, cropping becomes a powerful tool rather than a compromise. Photographers could effectively zoom digitally without sacrificing image quality. This is especially compelling for nature and sports shooters who would benefit from the Micro Four Third system's two times crop factor and the ability to turn a 300mm lens into a high resolution framing tool with the effective field of view of a 600mm lens. Though a sensor this detailed inevitably raises a critical question. Can current high-end Micro Four Thirds lenses resolve enough detail to take advantage of 100 megapixels fully? While Olympus and Panasonic have produced a range of excellent pro lenses, even these may be approaching the limits of what they can resolve for a sensor with such extreme pixel density. This could lead to the development of a new class of ultra high end resolution Micro Four Thirds class, but it also invites re evaluation of how much current lenses can deliver before such leaps are made. One of the long standing criticisms of Micro Four Thirds poor low light performance has already been significantly addressed through dual native ISO technology which dramatically improved noise handling in darker environments. More recently, the introduction of dynamic range boost modes has allowed Micro Four Thirds sensors to capture significantly more highlight and shadow detail, closing the gap with larger sensor formats. At the end of last year, I came across a YouTube video where the presenter dismissed Micro Four Thirds as overrated without offering any meaningful context. This kind of surface level commentary overlooks the fact that the current Micro Four Thirds sensors outperform the majority, if not all the full frame cameras of the past in both image quality and video functionality. In fact, current high-end Micro Four Thirds cameras now perform on par with or even better than some of the larger sensor rivals in real world use. For example, cameras like the GH7 and BGH1 perform more or less equally in dynamic range and even outperform Blackmagic full frame cameras in low light conditions. And when a supposed small sensor camera equals a cinema targeted model in these critical areas, it's a strong indicator that Micro Four Thirds is not just competitive, but underrated. Its development highlights that the only true threat to Micro Four Thirds future is not a technological limitation, but rather public perception, often outdated or rooted in myths. An 100 megapixel sensor, if implemented properly, could go a long way in reshaping that perception. Historically, Micro Four Thirds has been seen as the nimble, versatile workhorse, perfect for video, travel, and run and gun shooting. A 100 megapixel camera wouldn't replace that role, but it would expand it. It could reposition Micro Four Thirds as a serious option for high resolution imaging needs, offering a smaller, lighter, and possibly more affordable alternative to full frame or even medium format systems. For professional users looking to travel light without compromising detail, this could be a game changer. While a 100 megapixel sensor may sound like overkill or even fantasy, it represents a bold new chapter in the system's evolution. If brought to the market in a thoughtfully designed camera, it could challenge assumptions about what's possible with a small sensor format. More importantly, it proves that Micro Four Thirds isn't dead, but an actively evolving platform. With noise, dynamic range and now even resolution being addressed, the only thing holding Micro Four Thirds back is the outdated perception of its limitations, one that's increasingly out of sync with its real-world performance. Thanks for watching.